Hi friends, today I wanted to read to you a book called A Butterfly is Patient. And I love this book because I really like butterflies, but especially because the pictures in this book are absolutely beautiful. So, today we begin A Butterfly is Patient. Look at this, look at all these different kinds of caterpillars that will become butterflies. They all look so different, don't they? A Butterfly is Patient by Diana Hutz Aston. A butterfly is patient. It begins as an egg underneath or excuse me, beneath an umbrella of leaves, protected from rain, hidden from creatures that might harm it, until the caterpillar chews free from its egg case, tiny, wingless, and hungry to grow. A butterfly is creative. A caterpillar feeds on leaves, eating so much that it must molt or shed its skin many times. It can grow up to 30,000 times larger than it was when it took its first bite. <clears throat> Once a caterpillar has eaten all that it needs, it creates a protective covering called a chrysalis. Curled inside the chrysalis, it is growing wings. Now it is time for metamorphosis, changing from one form to another. Look at this. All the changes, here it is in its chrysalis, in about 26 days. And somewhere around 38 days, it emerges ready to be a beautiful butterfly. A butterfly is helpful. Butterflies, like bees, help pollinate plants so that they can reproduce or make seeds. As a butterfly flits from flower to flower, sipping nectar, tiny grains of pollen cling to its body and then fall away onto other flowers. Seeds are only produced when pollen is transferred between flowers of the same species. This is called pollination. A butterfly is protective. Butterflies use their wings to protect themselves from predators, such as hungry birds, lizards, and other insects. Some butterflies have markings on their wings called eye spots. Scientists don't know what they are used for perhaps to scare away predators or attract mates. Wings can help butterflies camouflage or hide themselves in the environment. One kind of butterfly, the peacock butterfly, makes a hissing sound by rubbing its wings together when it is alarmed. A butterfly is poisonous. The warning colors of some butterflies' wings, yellows, reds, oranges, whites, and blacks, tell predators that they are poisonous or bad tasting. Monarchs and pipevine swallowtails eat poisonous plants as caterpillars so that they become poisonous as adults. Birds and other insects have learned not to eat them. A butterfly is spectacular. Look at all the different colors. This one is one of my favorites. This is called the Blue Morpho Butterfly. We have the Elbowed Pierrot, the Tailed Jay, the Green Baron, Painted Jezebel, Moonlight Jewel. This is Rice Paper, the Common Birdwing, a ruddy dagger wing. Anna's 88. Down here you see the little wings that look like they have the number 88 on it. 
a zebra swallowtail, a hieroglyphic flat, a spotted fritillary, a Malay lacewing, and here is what the Malay lacewing's caterpillar looks like. Aren't they beautiful? A butterfly is thirsty. To find flowers, butterflies smell the air with their antennae. They taste with their feet, but sick ne sip nectar, the sweet liquid produced by many flowers, with a proboscis, which is a sort of tongue that coils and uncoils. Some butterflies get their nourishment from rotting fruit or minerals. Often a kaleidoscope of butterflies gather as a puddle club in mud near a pond or a lake to drink water rich in salts and minerals. A butterfly is big or tiny. The rare Queen Alexandra's birdwing is the largest butterfly in the world with wings that can span up to one foot wide. It lives in the rainforest in northern Papua New Guinea. The smallest is the rarely seen Aryan small blue found in Afghanistan with a wingspan of less than one third of an inch, which is about the length of a grain of rice. A butterfly is scaly. A rainbow of shiny, powdery scales cover the wings of a butterfly. Scales stacked like shingles on a roof. Without scales, its wings would be transparent as the wings of a bee or a dragonfly. Here we're looking at what their wings look like through a magnifying glass. Check out all those tiny little scales stacked so tightly together. The colors, patterns, and shapes of a butterfly's wing have a purpose. Some use their pattern of color to attract mates. In places where the climate is cool, dark scales absorb heat from the sun, warming the butterfly's flight muscles. Butterflies are cold-blooded and must have a body temperature of 86 degrees to fly. A butterfly is not a moth. Butterflies and moths belong to the same family of insects, Lepatera, which means scale wing. They are the only insects with scaly wings, but there are differences between them. Moths appeared on Earth between 100 and 190 million years ago. Butterflies, 40 million years ago during the Cretaceous period, when flowering plants and the nectar most butterflies need to survive evolved. Nearly every kind of butterfly flies during the day, while most moths fly at night. A moth spins a cocoon made of silk, while a butterfly wraps itself in a chrysalis or exoskeleton made from its skin. A butterfly is a traveler. Most butterflies, such as the red admiral or the common buckeye, migrate a short distance to find a warmer place. But some, like the monarch, travel far. Although monarchs weigh only as much as a few rose petals, they can fly almost 3,000 miles from Canada to their winter home in Mexico at a rate of 20 miles per hour. Glider pilots have reported seeing monarchs flying at an altitude of 11,000 feet. That is higher than some clouds. A butterfly is magical. Monarchs gather in huge numbers in the forests of central Mexico, waiting for spring. Then they fly north to the milkweed plants in North America, where they lay their eggs. Now it is time again for their metamorphosis. A butterfly is patient. The egg hatches, the caterpillar emerges, 
feasting on leaves before it wraps itself into its warm, protective chrysalis, patiently waiting. To soar. These butterflies are the great purple hair streak. So beautiful. Here we have a page with many other beautiful butterflies on it. Do you have a favorite one? There are so many to choose from. Perhaps today would be a good day for you to take some colored pencils or some watercolors or even markers and draw a picture of your favorite butterfly. I hope you guys have a great day today, friends. Thanks for reading with us.